Hey, hey everyone, welcome to the webinar. We've got people joining us here and we're going to get started. Uh, my name is Ron Zare, and I got started about 30 years ago studying, writing about, and teaching about health and wellness. Now, my particular interest was in how health and wellness interacted with, affected, and influenced human performance. Today we're going to be talking about the cellular advantage with stem cell nutrition. Now I know that some of you have probably seen a DVD that I did on this topic. Well today we're going to delve into more details, give you some more of the scientific background and facts related to the cellular advantage, as well as at the end of this webinar, towards the end of this webinar, we've got some people on who are going to share their, their specific, did I almost say that? Okay, their specific experiences with the cellular advantage, how they've incorporated them into their training regime and how that has helped in their performance. So let's get going with this right away, shall we? Now, whether you're a elite athlete, a weekend warrior, or someone who wants to live an active life, and I know we've got people on who fit into all of those categories, I'm going to unveil some secrets for you, you will learn some things, some specific things that you can do to take action to increase your level of performance without sacrificing your long-term health. Because you know as well as I do that some of the things that people do to increase their performance actually are to the long-term detriment of their health. Write the label, former athlete, hey, what do you picture? You picture often somebody who has trouble just getting around in life. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm okay being battered and bruised, but at the end of the game, at the end of my game, I don't want to be on the bench. I want to be active right to the very end, okay? So let's talk about some challenges, first of all, that every one of us, regardless of activity level, faces. Fatigue, you ever felt fatigued? Absolutely. So you want to have as much energy as possible, you want to be at the top of your game with endurance and really be able to play hard. Number two challenge is pain, injury, and incremental damage. Now that kind of, that could be muscle pain, right? You know, sore muscles and stuff like that that keep you slow, your recovery time, so you can't get back into action as quickly as, as you would like to. It could be injury because you play hard, you're going to get hurt. Uh, it could be something simple, but it also could be a muscle tear, cartilage, tendon. Uh, it could be something more, more pronounced, broken bone or whatever. You have to be able to deal with that as quickly as possible. You want to speed that recovery and make it as, as full and complete as you can. But it also could be incremental damage. Now, that may be a term that you're not familiar with, because I know we've got people from all different backgrounds with us today. But incremental damage, by that, I mean damage that takes place over time. Some of it may be so slight that you don't even notice that it's happening, but it accumulates and builds up and that's what leads to those broken athletes at the end of their lives or midlife in some cases. The third thing is decreased performance and limited pr improvement. I know you want to be maximizing your gain. All of us have hit plateaus. All of us have fought and we've been doing the things that we need to do, but we're not getting the results that we want. So I'm going to share with you some things that you can do to empower your body to bust through those plateaus. Sound good? All right, let's get on with it here. So uh, we've got this thing, we call it the peak performance triangle, okay? And we're going to be talking about this. And along with it, the, what we call the five pillars of peak performance. Now, top of the list there is energy and endurance. You want the energy, you want the endurance. Now, let's just be clear, when I'm speaking of energy and endurance, I'm not just talking about, you know, throwing some junk into your body that's gonna rev you up to keep you going and then you're gonna crash afterwards, okay? That's not long-term health. That's not even good energy in the moment. I'm talking about cellular energy, okay? Energy that fuels the cells on that basic level and keeps you going. I'm gonna explain some things that I think are pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Okay, um, lactic acid. We know about lactic acid burn. We know about how that accumulates, what it does to the muscles. We know about sore muscles. I'm going to share with you how acid in the body can be so detrimental to the body as a whole to all the systems of our body. So you want to deal with the lactic acid in the muscles, but you also want to deal with acid throughout the body. I'll share with you how to do that. Next up is oxidative damage. 
You ever seen what oxidation does to metal? Causes it to rust. Well, oxidative damage in our bodies, and as athletes, people exercising hard, people living active lives, we have, we're susceptible to more, dramatically increased. Some people say as much as 10 to 20 times the oxidative damage that regular couch potatoes would experience. And, and so we have to do something to protect ourselves against that oxidative damage so we don't get that corrosion on the inside. Next up is lean muscle. Now, I, you know, we, we know lean muscle is important. And, and I'm not saying that you want to be one of those big, big guys. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But you need lean muscle. We need lean muscle to be healthy and to perform well. The fact is that as we get older, especially once we hit, you know, 40, 50 years of age, we have trouble building lean muscle. Our body's not as efficient doing it. And, and so we need to supply our body with what it needs to build that lean muscle more readily. Now, if you're in your 20s and 30s, you're thinking, well, you know, I guess this point's not for me. But actually it is. Because the amount of lean muscle you build in your 20s and 30s will dramatically affect how easily you can build lean muscle in your 40s and 50s. And not only how effectively you can build it, but how effectively you can keep it. Okay? Vitally important for having a long-term active life. Fifth thing up is renewing and replenishing or repairing. You're in the game to win. You're going to get hurt. Whether that's bumps and bruises, or it's some kind of more significant injury, or, you know, God forbid, something more long-term, or that incremental damage. So, we want to enhance, we want to fuel, we want to support that renewing and replenishing, repairing cycle that our body is trying to do. Okay? Now, let's start with that fifth one, shall we? How does our body renew and replenish? It does it through cells called stem cells. Now, you may have heard enough, a lot about that, but just hang on, stay with me just for a couple minutes because it may not be what you're thinking of. I'm going to show you a clip of a speech given by Dr. Neil Reardon. Now, Dr. Reardon is a world-renowned expert, innovative, innovator, and pioneer in stem cell technology and stem cell research. Let's watch this video clip and I'll be right back with you at the end of it. I'm really excited about stem cells and all the doctors that we work with are also equally excited because I think stem cells are going to allow doctors to treat patients for things that were in, in the past thought to be incurable. And I'm going to talk to you about some of those cases. And I, I'm certain that stem cell research will improve the health of, of people worldwide and more importantly, will reduce healthcare costs. So I'm gonna talk about repair stem cells. We hear about all the controversy over stem cells, embryonic stem cells in particular, fetal stem cells. And in both of those cases, you know, a life has to be taken. The cells that I'm gonna talk about today are in our bodies. We all have stem cells. If you're sitting in that chair breathing, your stem cells are hard at work making sure that everything is repaired in your body. My original career was in tumor immunology, and I worked in a cancer research laboratory, and we made cancer vaccines for cancer patients. And we took their personalized cancer vaccines, so we made the vaccines out of their blood, their white blood cells that we would harvest from their veins. And the problem was we couldn't get enough cells. So then we started giving patients a medication that stimulates the release of stem cells from the bone marrow, and then we were able to harvest those stem cells, grow them up in the laboratory, and then convert them into a bigger, better vaccine. So that's how we got started. But the interesting thing we noted was that when we gave them the medication to stimulate the release of the stem cells, other things got better. People with knee problems, their knees got better. People with shoulder problems, their shoulders got better. We had a patient with a heart problem, the heart problem got better because the stem cells were released from the bone marrow and went to the areas where they were needed. So that's what really got me interested in stem cells for regenerative medicine. Why a nutritional supplement? Stem cells are only part of the story because we can give somebody stem cells and they home to the area of damaged tissue. But that's only part of it. They don't do all the repair. What they do is they send out signals and say, hey, rest of the stem cells, come on down. Let's fix it, right? And so one of the biggest benefits is they're recruiting other stem cells. And those other stem cells are coming from the bloodstream. 
So if you don't have enough circulating stem cells, then you're not going to get near the benefit. And that's what we found. Some people have fantastic responses. Some people have, you know, medium responses. Some people don't have any responses. We said, well, why is that? And then we started looking at the number of circulating stem cells because they don't do any good if they're not available to do the repair. Our conclusion is the more circulating stem cells you have, the better the result in our clinic. So we wanted a supplement that we could give to our patients before they came to get their cells circulating so when we inject the stem cells, they go to the damaged area, release the signals, there are more repair cells to go there and help fix the problem. And then we also wanted a supplement that we could send them home with so that you know those cells are still there secreting the messages. We want more and more stem, stem cells circulating to repair the damage. So we started researching, well, what, what helps nourish and stimulate the stem cells in the bone marrow. And we looked at a whole bunch of natural compounds. And it's interesting that the, the, the snacks out there today, there were blueberries, there were blackberries, there were, uh, in back here, there was some green tea. And there are a lot of natural things. And if, if you look in nature, really, the most colorful things you can eat typically have the most benefit, the phytonutrients that are in them have the most benefit on the bone marrow and on, on protecting your stem cells, nourishing your stem cells, and stimulating your stem cells. So we looked at the literature and then we individually tested all the different items that, we, that were candidates, all of them plant-based, we identified those candidates, and then we looked at different combinations. And the one thing that was surprising to us is that when we fermented those, uh, those raw materials with the bacteria that's used to make sourdough bread sour, the effect went up about five-fold. The effect of, of nourishing and stimulating the stem cells, stem cells went up dramatically. And that's, that's, that's what, how we wound up with this product. Once we saw in the lab, while well, we have this combination that really works great on stimulating the stem cells, let's see if it works in human beings. So we did, we did clinical trials. And we found that this product profoundly nourished the stem cells in the bone marrow and significantly increased the number of circulating stem cells that are going to help our patients get better. So moving the stem cells from the bone marrow around a body where they would be available for repair. The name of this product comes from the Greek for movement or to move, which is kind, and then of course stem for stem cells. So the product name is stem kind. I'm going to bore you with some science. I'm going to look you in the eye and put you right to sleep. <laughs> no, so these, I'm only going to talk about two different kinds of stem cells. One are the blood forming stem cells, right? And they formed the different blood cells in your body. And then the other ones are called EPCs, and what they do is maintain the vasculature. So these blood-forming cells, and they have fancy names because those are named for markers that are found on the cells so we can identify them, but they're meaningless, they're just a sequential number. Um, they home to damaged tissue, right? When you break your leg, there are signals that are sent out to the bone marrow, say, hey, send us some help. So these things are mobilized from the bone marrow and they go there and they're the, they're the first responders and then they send out secondary signals to recruit other, other stem cells to repair. In animal models, when you take a rat and you give them a stroke by clamping off one of the arteries going to the brain, if you inject some of these cells into the, into the tail vein of the rat, they go right to the stroke and they help repair the stroke. If you give a rat a heart attack, and then you inject the cells in the tail vein, they go right to the heart and help to repair the heart. If you tease up the liver or give them a chemical that damages their liver, give them the stem cells, they go right to the liver and help the liver. So they're very good at homing, they're very good at secreting factors that tell the rest of the body to come to the aid. Now, of course, if there aren't any circulating stem cells, what's gonna happen? Not a lot, right? They're sending out the signal, to nobody. They're screaming in the dark to an empty room. So EPCs, now these are the cells, they're also found in the bone marrow, they also home to damaged tissue, but their primary responsibility is to keep every blood vessel in your body nice, clean, and smooth. So without a balance, if you don't have a high enough level of these EPCs, you're going to be predisposed to every vascular disease you can think of, and the two major ones that 
are, that kill more people than anybody else are heart attack and stroke. One out of 2.9 deaths in this country is from cardiovascular disease. What, what is the correlation of EPCs with health and disease? Well, we talked about cardiovascular disease. There's a huge study that's been ongoing. It's called the Framingham study, where thousands and thousands of people are enrolled, and they look at risk factors. And the higher the risk factor you have, the higher chance you have of dying of a heart attack or a stroke or having one of those events, OK? And this, in, in this study, which is in the New England Journal of Medicine, they measured the circulating, circulating levels of EPCs in patients, and they matched them up with their Framingham score. And guess what? The higher level the EPCs, the lower the score, the lower ri the risk they had for heart attack and stroke. And it was highly significant. Next slide is for all the guys in the room. This is erectile function. People with erectile dysfunction have a decreased level of EPCs. And if you categorize it by mild, see, it's, people without erectile dysfunction, it would be 100. There's not a bar there. But people with mild erectile dysfunction have, have a decreased level of EPCs. With moderate, it's even worse. And severe, it's, it's greatly depressed. And it makes sense because the vasculature you know, that goes to the, the penis, if, if there's not adequate vasculature, you're going to have erectile dysfunction. And not having enough EPCs can result in that. In summary, circulating CD34s and 133s, the, the blood-forming cells, are hugely important to health. They circulate throughout the body. And the more you have circulating, if you have an event, or even to prevent an event, the more that are circulating, the more repair that can go on, because they home to damaged tissue, and they recruit more stem cells to the damaged area. And, and EPCs, I think we've adequately covered that, again, they're very important for, for maintaining your vasculature for cardiovascular support. So we, we, had, we, we have two published studies in the peer-reviewed literature uh, on stem kind. The first one was a pilot study done on six people. And then the second was a, a, a bigger study done on 18 people. And this was the conclusion of the second study. To our knowledge, this is the first study demonstrating profound mobilization effect with possible clinical significance by a food supplement-based approach. And this was published about a year ago. Thank you. All right, I'm back. Wasn't that powerful stuff? Like, it, it never ceases to amaze me how science um, shows us the intricacies of the human body and what is capable of doing. Like seriously, wow. Now, I forgot to mention and I apologize that uh, you've got a chat box here and I know we've got lots of people, you may have questions or whatever, so hey, uh, feel free to use that chat box and you know, put in your comments or questions or whatever. If I can get to them, I will. Otherwise, we'll find a way to, to connect. Okay, so let's just review a couple points there. Um, Dr. Reardon did such a great job explaining it. I asked you to suspend judgment because we are not talking about controversial stem cells. And I can just picture some of you when, you, when I said stem cells, you just pull back and said, hey, wait a minute, I'm not into that stuff, okay? We're not talking about controversial stem cells. No life is taken in the stem cells that we're talking about. We're talking about your own adult stem cells. So those stem cells that are released every day of your life in your own body, your body is making them. Now, these are the stem cells that serve to repair, replace older damaged cells and tissues. What do we have? 67 trillion, 73 trillion, somewhere in that range. I don't know who has exactly counted every one of them, but you know, we've got that many cells in our body and they make up about 200 plus different kinds of cells. So whenever an injury happens, whether it's a cut on your skin or it's an injury to a vital organ in your body, the stem cells go there to repair, to replace the damaged cells. They turn into that kind of cell. Now, I said they go there, but there is a condition to that because they go there provided there's enough circulating stem cells in the body. Your body's produced enough. You follow? So the body's production of adult stem cells decreases after age 25. So what does that mean? It means that healing, repair, renewing, replenishing can take longer. You have kids, you ever been a kid? You know kids? What happens when they get cut or they get hurt? Often with a few, within a few days, 
that cut is almost healed. Do you know some elderly people? If they get cut, sometimes it takes weeks, months. Sometimes a cut never heals. Why? Because they have fewer stem cells. So are stem cells important? Absolutely. Here's the good news. Dr. Reardon and his team of scientists began to research and they discovered ways to empower the human body to increase production of its own stem cells. How powerful is that? So you increase your own stem cells and guess what those stem cells, you have more stem cells available to do that healing, that renewing, replenishing, repairing. So the product that their research went into developing and the product that was the result of their research, literally, is called Stemkind. Stemkind nourishes the bone marrow, which is one of the primary factories, production grounds for stem cells in the body, produces, so supports that bone marrow to produce a greater number of stem cells which circulate around the body looking for places of damage to go into heal and to repair. I like that. I like that. What is it? You can ask. You're saying, well, what's in it? No, again, let me stress. There are no stem cells in stem kind. Okay? Stem kind is a proprietary food supplement produced through fermentation. And if you know nutrition, you know that fermentation will enhance the activity of nutrients and certain enzymes. So fermentation, a process that is applied to green tea, astragalus, goji berry extract, you put that together, you blend it with oligic acid, beta-1,3 glucan, vitamin D3, ingredients that you may or may not be familiar with, but all food substances, okay? That's what goes into making up stem kind. Now, I don't remember if you caught, I don't know if you caught the fact that stem kind then was tested in two clinical trials. And those trials were published in peer-reviewed journals. So powerful, powerful scientific backing for a nutritional supplement. People with high stem cell levels, they show the ability to repair more quickly from sports injuries or surgery. How important is that? Whether it's in the game so you can get back into the game or something more significant that takes time, you want to speed that up. Uh, people also show increased mobility. Hey, that's cool. Regardless what point in life I'm at, I want that. And people show an increase in energy. And remember, we talked about energy being so vital and one of those things that we get challenged with not having enough of. People also show faster hair and nail growth kind of windows to the health of the body, a healthier complexion, and a general sense of well-being. So can you get kind of a glimpse of the power of increasing your body's stem cells? And remember, at the end of this webinar, you're going to hear from people and find out exactly how they've used it and how it's benefited them in their training regimen as well as in their performance and activity levels, okay? So you may have more stem cells. That's for the renewing, replenishing, and healing and, and repair. But what's going to help you build that lean muscle? What's going to help you to reduce the lactic acid buildup? What's going to reduce the oxidative damage? And what's going to fuel the cells? Let's look at those other things, okay? Fatigue. Fatigue results from inadequate oxygen to the muscles and, and organs. Also results from inadequate supply, okay, of energy, of the fuel to manufacture energy. Cellular energy is dependent on the mitochondria. The mitochondria need, need hydrogen to go into what's called the Krebs cycle, and that produces energy on a cellular level, okay? So we're not talking about sugar water. We're not talking about a huge boost of caffeine or something that's just going to rev you up, or even a whole whack load of carbohydrates. We'll come to that in just a minute. But we're talking about cellular energy that is available right away into the cells. Okay, lactic acid buildup. Lactic acid, obviously, it reduces muscle performance. We've all experienced it. Lactic acid burn or sore muscles after exercise, lots of workout or, or lots of physical activity. Shortens our endurance, slows recovery. Lactic acid it also lowers our pH. And many things we do in our modern North American lifestyle also lower body pH. Why is that significant? Well, lower pH 
means lower blood oxygen levels, lower pH. The low end of pH is called acidity or acid. Excess acidity or low pH weakens virtually all body systems. Excess acidity forces the body to use minerals as buffers. So if your body has too much acidity in it, it's going to look for minerals within the body to buffer that acidity. Where's it going to pull it out of? It's going to pull it out of other organ system processes as well as uh, some of the deposits of minerals in the body such as the bones, the teeth, and so forth. Ah, uh, we don't want that happening. And you understand why. Okay, so what's next? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, uh, whoa, sorry here. Okay. I got confused. Can you believe that? What do I need for that? Well, I'll find something. But we're back here. So oxidative damage releases free radicals into the body. Okay, lots of talk about free radicals these days. I'm not going to go into an explanation of them, but free radicals interfere with the cell's ability to function normally. They damage all components of the cell, including proteins, lipids, and DNA. When those are damaged, it results in tissue damage, excessive fatigue, delayed recovery, muscles become overcontracted and sore, and the damage to the cellular DNA doesn't kill the cell. In fact, it would be better if it did kill the cell. Instead, it mutates the cell. And those mutated cells, when they multiply, they make more mutated cells. Okay, so is it any wonder that oxidative damage or free radical damage has been linked to so many degenerative diseases? Now, when we're exercising, some people would say that up to 10 to 20 times the amount of oxidative damage can take place. So we want to be sure that we're dealing with that oxidative damage, preventing it from happening. And I'll tell you how in just a minute. Microhydrin is a mineral-based antioxidant. So what does it do? It quenches the free radical damage. It neutralizes those free radicals that cause the oxidative damage. It recharges other antioxidants. So sometimes you hear about antioxidants, vitamin C, vitamin E, selenium, zinc as antioxidants. Microhydrin can actually recharge those as well as neutralizing free radicals on its own. Why is that important? Because vitamin C, if it acts as an antioxidant, it can no longer act as vitamin C. So pretty powerful. It helps to create energy without the stimulants. How does it do that? It releases hydrogen ions into the Krebs cycle. Now we speak of carbohydrates as providing energy. Well, carbohydrates are typically made up of one-third carbon, one-third oxygen, and one-third hydrogen. Okay? Your body has to then go and split the carbon from the hydrogen from the oxygen. The carbon and the oxygen become carbon dioxide. And the hydrogen is what is really used for energy. And so the hydrogen goes into the Krebs cycle in the mitochondria of the cells and produces energy for the cells. So with microhydrin, it releases the hydrogen ions. I hope I'm not getting too scientific for you, but this is powerful stuff. It releases the hydrogen ions that can go directly into the Krebs cycle. Okay? So they fuel the Krebs cycle, resulting in a boost of cellular energy. So therefore, it can enhance endurance. It can also enhance recovery. Now, microhydrin then reduces the lactic acid because microhydrin has a pH of 10.5. So it's on the opposite end of the scale from acid. Okay? So it can neutralize that lactic acid, which means reducing sore muscles both during exercise and after exercise. So you've got quicker recovery, you've got less sore muscles and less muscle fatigue during. It also increases cellular hydration because it lowers the surface tension of the water. So that's both extracellular as well as intracellular. Both the, the, um, the, the liquid, the fluid outside of the cells, surrounding the cells, as well as inside has a lower surface tension so it can hydrate better. And it, it improves our blood's oxygen levels. Okay, Because if blood is acidic, it carries sometimes as little as 20% of the oxygen that normal blood can carry. So microhydrin has been shown to improve blood oxygen levels. 
Okay, let's look at some of the other stuff. Oh, hey, before we do, let's look at this. Um, acidic and acidic blood without microhydrin at the top. And in the second photo on the, on the bottom, this is from a dark field microscope, very alkaline blood that the person has been given microhydrin. And microhydrin goes very quickly into the bloodstream. So, you know, I'm not a blood expert. I won't claim to be a blood expert, but blood is supposed to flow, not stick. And which one do you think is, is flowing and which one it looks like it's, it's more sticky. Now, let's talk about lean muscle. I've told you how important lean muscle is, and you know that. The ability to build more lean muscle. In order to do that, our body needs amino acids. And we need a certain kind of amino acid and there are some proteins, protein is made up of amino acids, some proteins are way more effective. So what are some characteristics of effective protein? Well, it's got a high NNU. NNU stands for ni net nitrogen utilization. Okay? Roughly, it means the amount, the percentage of a protein, a percentage of amino acids, of those amino acids in that protein, that can be used for building lean muscle versus the percent that is used for energy. Okay, so um, we call these two different pathways, anabolic versus catabolic pathways. Okay, so typically dietary proteins, so eggs, fish, poultry, beef, those things typically have an NNU on average of 32%. That means that 32% of the protein can be used for lean muscle and the other 68% is used for energy. Now, protein supplements, typical kind that you see the guys coming out of the, the, you know, the sports and nutrition shops and the big tubs, typically those have an average of 16% NNU. So they're taking this huge tub of protein, but only 16% of that can be used for building lean muscle. The other 84% is energy. So what do they do? They have to take a lot of it in order to get the protein that their body needs to build that lean muscle. Now, it's incredibly inefficient, but let me tell you what part of the problem is with that. There's nitrogen in that protein. And when the protein goes and is used for energy production, that nitrogen is not used, it's rather released, and the kidneys have to filter it out. So that's why sometimes you hear about high protein consumption, Pro, uh, you know, puts a lot of stress on the kidneys. It's because of that nitrogen and because the protein has a very low NNU. So you want something with a high NNU. You want something with rapid digestion. Typically your, your dietary proteins, your supplementary proteins take three to six hours to digest. So that means you take that protein and it's available to the muscles at 16% or 32% at least, is available to the muscles three to six hours later. So you want something that gets to the muscles faster so that when you're exercising, your muscles are saying, hey, I've got lots of amino acids available, I'm gonna get stronger, okay? You also want something with high digestibility. You ever had a protein drink or you've, and even you wait that three to six hours, and three to six hours the protein may be digested, but there's so much indigestible material there that there's this heavy weight in your gut and you can hardly perform, you can hardly, it's hard to be active like you would like. So you want something that digests to a large degree, is high level of digestibility. Uh, without fat or calories, nine essential plus the two conditionally essential amino acids. Let me tell you about that just for a minute. Um, our body needs nine essential amino acids. Some people say eight, some people say nine, but let's go with a nine right here. It needs nine essential amino acids plus two conditionally essential. If your body's under stress or if you're exercising hard, it's not able to make these two even if it has the other nine. So you really should have something that has these 11 amino acids, the nine essential plus these two. What are the two? Glutamine and arginine are the two that are most important for exercise. Now, if you don't have enough glutamine, your body needs it. And so it will go and find it. And where will it find it? It will actually break down your muscle tissue in order to get the glutamine. So that's kind of counterproductive, isn't it? In addition, if you get too much glutamine, the glutamine amino acids will go and they will fill in the other amino acid receptor sites in your body so your body can't get 
other amino acids. So you need that optimum level of glutamine. Arginine is really important for heart protection. It's also important in creatine production. So you need arginine in there as well. Okay, protivity is a vegetable source crystalline amino acid. Remember I talked about NNU? Protivity has 99%, yeah, 99% NNU. 99% of this protein is used for building lean muscle. It's fully digested in 20 minutes. 20 minutes before my workout, I take it. When I'm stressing my muscles, fibers, my body says, I've got lots of amino acids, let's make these stronger. Okay, after my workout, I take it again. My body says, hey, I've got lots of amino acids, I'm gonna build these muscle fibers stronger because they were just stressed. It is 100% digestible, so you don't have that residual weight in your intestinal tract. It's got the nine essential plus the two conditionally essential amino acids in the perfect blend and proportion, just what you need. Let's talk about some of the other stuff. So, cellular advantage. You know, I've got my AC off in here so that you don't hear the sound of it. So, I'm doing my workout for the day. No, not really. I will do something else, don't worry. But, we've talked about stem kind. We've talked about that revolutionary way to fuel the body's ability to produce more stem cells. We've talked about microhydrin as an antioxidant to neutralize the free radicals, but also as a way to alkalinize the body, dissipate the, the lactic acid to fuel the cells. We've talked about protivity, that perfect solution, the blend of amino acids, in a highly digestible form with 99% NNU to give you the protein you need to maximize the benefits of your workout and exercise. We started out with three challenges, fatigue, pain, injury, and incremental damage, decreased performance, and limited improvement, plateauing. And can you see how these things that I've described to you deal specifically with each of these three challenges in a way that will not only improve performance today, but will aid your long-term health rather than sacrifice your long-term health. Now, there's tons of science, and I've shared some of the science with you on this. But not only has these, have these things been tested in the laboratory, not only do they have science and research to back them up, but today with us we have some people who have actually experienced them and experienced the benefits of them. So take a listen to some of the stories of just a few of these people. Hi, I'm Casey and I've been surfing uh, contests for about 15 years and, and free surfing about 20. And uh, surfing by itself isn't um, particularly tough on the body. Um, it's not like running marathons or triathlons or anything. Um, but it does have an interesting component, which is that um, the torque that you place on a surfboard from, from surfing and, and twisting your body tends to be tough on pro surfers, knees and ankles. And a lot of them end up developing problems over time. So I've had several uh, twisted ankles and knees from in my 20 years of surfing, and um, I soon found out about the StemKind product after I had two ankle sprains within about three months of each other, one from surfing and, and one not from surfing. So I started taking the products and noticed an increased race, rates of um, recovery time. Products um, can't me from doing silly things on surfboards and getting injured, um, they certainly do help out with my recovery time and um, feeling better in the water. So I began taking the productivity product when I heard about it a uh, few years ago and uh, just was real interested in the science behind it and what that might do for my competitive surfing. Now, uh, surfing by itself, it isn't one, a sport that you necessarily need a lot of muscle. We're not weightlifters or anything, and in fact, there's plenty of surfers that are um, um, you know, quite uh, uh, spry, uh, small guys that are, that are incredible surfers. Um, but I thought that it, couldn't, it certainly couldn't hurt for me to put on a little uh, more lean muscle mass for you know, paddling and just dealing with long days in competition. So I started taking the products, and along with a healthy diet and um, lots of exercise, I put on about 10 pounds of lean muscle mass within uh, three months of taking Protivity. So 
So I really enjoyed uh, taking Pativity, and it certainly helped out my competitive uh, game for in surfing. And um, about uh, within nine months of taking the Pativity product, I ended up winning the U.S. Surfing Championships men's division. Surfing is an interesting sport because it's a lot like uh, some other sports like baseball or golf where you have um, a lot of waiting around and then some, uh, you know, occasional spurts of activity. Uh, you know, in surfing we do a lot of paddling and a lot of waiting, but then uh, very little time actually sitting there surfing uh, on the board. Now, um, however, for me as a competitive surfer, I've uh, found that competitive surfing by itself, even in just 30-minute heat, is a lot more physically draining than, than surfing just out in the water with my friends. And so, so I've noticed the benefits of the microhydrant product with increased stamina during long days with lots of heats to surf. And the, the RBC Life products along with a healthy diet and rest can uh, really increase your personal limits in a competitive situation. My name is Dave Champion. Uh, I'm a pretty serious runner, have been for the last 15 years. And about 12 years ago, I was introduced. I started taking some of these products and have depended on them to be a staple in my fueling regime uh, for the last 12 years. And um, I, I keep about a weekly mileage of about 100 kilometers a week and uh, regularly race trail races. I've gravitated into the longer stuff, the ultra stuff, 50K, 50 mile, even 100K. And in my uh, going into my mid 50s, this is what I depend on these products to keep me energized, to speed up recovery, keep me free from sickness and injury. So it's been a great experience. So, so Dave, tell me, um, you've been taking microhydrin as one of the specific products that you've taken, and, and how is microhydrin? How do you see it as having benefited you? Well, I think the, as I understand, just the the powerful antioxidant that is just keeping the uh, the body recovering. Like it's not just about being able to go do one uh, intense run or speed workout. It's being able to come back the next day and and knowing that your body's recovering. Um, phys- physically, I feel the benefit, but also even um, mentally, how it, it I feel over the years has just helped me. Uh, stay sharp mentally so it's probably the whole package and just the whole building up of the immune system and keeping me healthy in that regards okay great so do you take microhydrin daily do you take it before and after a run i take it i take it uh some every morning every night and we'll uh, you know before races before long runs i'll take uh some extra uh, even yeah times when and I don't just mean as an athlete. Sometimes when I've got a more stressful public speaking, uh, um, you know, event, I'll take some extra just to give me the edge. So there's a few ways I use it. Okay, great. Now you also mentioned that you're taking Stemkine, and I mean you're fifty. You're in your mid fifties. You're in really great shape you do what a lot of 20 year olds could not do so you're not taking it necessarily because you've had long-term damage why is it that you're taking stem kind well I, i'm taking it like insurance uh there's again the body's being pounded over and over and i think again this coupled with microhydrin is just part of my whole success in staying injury free a lot of guys around me they have different issues that that uh, come up but this uh, I believe stem kind is as I understand what its benefits are has really helped me uh, stay strong that's great and what about protivity protivity protein powders we often think of that or, or you know extra protein we think of that is something that you know that bodybuilders need but you're a runner and you also are a real believer in protivity well yeah and that, that's really helped me um, be able to run through meals run through times when normally I'd have to, to depend on uh, you know trying to eat a lot but I get the, the, the protein and it basically allows me to go off in an extra two hours um, without, you know, some of my runs, three, four, five hours, this helps me go without needing as much food, without the, the residual in the gut, which causes a problem when you're running. So I, I typically take five protivity before 
every uh, major long run before races, and even would use would take another five, uh, two to three hours in. Excellent. Yeah, and that, and that you see direct direct results in in the the moment. In you know, it, it's not a subtle. You know that you've got extra extra energy to keep going. Okay, so in the middle of a race, when you're taking that, you can feel it in that race. Yeah. 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 That's that's good to hear. Really appreciate you sharing that with us. Yeah. Awesome. No, I I really believe in uh, the RBC Life products. Those are just a few of them. Um, I've used some other ones as well, but uh, have had great great success with all of them. Great. As well as my family have uh, are all happy users as well. Okay. Excellent. Really appreciate yeah. that. That's great. Yeah. In regards to the micro hydrant, uh, you know, I do a lot of mountain biking, a lot of tennis, a lot of hockey, a lot of baseball, hiking. So I find that uh, it really reduces the lactic acid buildup, reduces the burn. You don't get that burn at all. Um, it's a great antioxidant as well. So the next day, um, it really helps your muscles recover if you've had a good workout. Uh, the productivity was good uh, if you're lifting weights, if you're looking to build some muscle, uh, get lean. Uh, I thought it What did you notice with the productivity? I took, uh, I took the recommended uh, dosage, which was actually 5, 5 in the morning. Um, to take 5 pills in the morning with food when you kind of get up and go. Um, and I found that uh, when I was lifting weights, um, you had a, just an extra few reps each time. Um, you just kind of had to, uh, usually before you kind of get to that uh, that ending, you know, if you're at 10 reps and it's just really burning, I felt that, you know, I could get 13 or 14 out of it. It, uh, it was good. And, I, and also after the fact that after I was using it for a few weeks, I noticed uh, just putting more muscle on, definitely. What I found about the stem kind is um, it really helped me kind of uh, get up and get my day going. I felt like, you know, after I took a stem kind and, it got into my system. I just had a lot more uh, get up and go. Um, a year and a half ago, I got rear-ended in the Nymo, and I got some uh, minor whiplash out of it. It also uh, really strained my back when when I got hit. And um, yeah, I was taking Stemkine and did uh, did a little bit of recuperation. Went to um, not a chiropractor. Went to a physiotherapist and had him take a look at me. I went through one treatment, and uh, you know, just along with, I guess, taking the stem kind and just uh, drinking lots of water, lots of vegetables, you know, just a healthy diet. I was able to get back on my feet uh, quite fast. Actually, he was he was surprised that uh, I was able to do it so quickly. So, I definitely would contribute some of that uh, stem kind. Excellent, excellent. Well, thanks, guys, for sharing your stories. That was fantastic. And, and folks, could you hear the energy and the excitement in their voices? Wasn't that exciting? And wasn't that inspiring? For some of you right now, you're saying, hey, I'm ready to take action here. I want to reach my peak performance. There's a buy button right beside the screen here. And you click on that. It'll take you and give you all the information on how you can get your hands on and get some of these peak performance products into your body. Now let's just review for a minute here. We've talked about peak performance. We've talked about the importance for energy endurance, not just something that hypes and revs up the body, but energy and endurance on a cellular level. We've talked about lactic acid and how that builds up in the muscles, but the, the fact that acid is a problem not just for the muscles, but for the entire body and all body systems. And I've shared with you what you can do about that. We've talked about oxidative damage that is multiplied through exercise and what we can do to counteract and to prevent that. We talked about lean muscle and the best form of protein to help you build lean muscle and why that's so important. And finally, we talked about renewing and replenishing and repairing the damage, injury, and pain that takes place in the body. I've shared with you about Stemkine, which does that renewing, replenishing, and repairing job. Well, actually, it doesn't do the job, but it empowers your body to produce more stem cells that do that repairing, renewing, and replenishing job. Uh, we talked about protivity, which helps to build lean muscle mass, 
and provides the amino acids for the repair work in your body. And we talked about microhydrin, which helps fuel the cells on a cellular level, decreases lactic acid and acid in the body as a whole, and helps to prevent oxidative damage. So there you have it. We call it the cellular advantage for peak performance. Now, right about now, there's typically three responses. Some of you are saying, I'm totally happy with my performance. No thanks. For you, I have to respond with, like, really? You're totally happy with your performance? You don't want to improve or get better? But actually, I understand where you're coming from. You're questioning. Uh, these things might be so expensive. I don't know if I can afford it. I don't know if they'll work for me. Well, let me tell you. I'm not going to tell you to go look at a mirror right now, but look at your body. It's the only one that you're going to need to get. It's the only one you'll ever have. Some of us take better care of our gear or our equipment than we do of our bodies. Some people spend, some of us probably spend more money on our shoes than we do on, on keeping our bodies at peak performance over the long run. You're worth it. And the Peak Performance Pack has a money back guarantee. That's it. Satisfaction. Okay, other people are saying, well, I'd really like to do more research. And I do understand where you're coming from because you want to know the value of the product. Does the product really work? I've given you lots of scientific backing. I've given you the scientific uh, place where this, these products are coming from and how they interact with the physiology of the body. If you'd like more research, here's a website. Check this out. Write it down. Check out rbc.com. Check out rbc.com. All one word. Go there. You can find some more information on each of these individual products. The other thing that I would just so strongly encourage you to do is do your research in your own personal laboratory. That's your own body. Because when it comes right down to it, you want to know how it affects you. Try it for 90 days. Again, there's that money back guarantee. So it's really a no brain, no risk um, on your part to try that. So do the research, try the product, and experience some of the benefits. Finally, some of you are saying, yes, I want the cellular advantage for peak performance. I want to take action. I want to up my game. Well, for you, we've got three options. Number one, these products are not available in stores, but you can purchase them at retail by using the buy button right there. I don't know why you would want to do that, to be honest, because the company that provides these products offers a lifetime free wholesale membership. Okay? Simple fill out, bit of information. You can buy the products at 20% off that retail price. Now for the real no-brainer on this one, there's also an auto ship option. Commit to yourself. Make that commitment to yourself, to your own performance, to your own bodies, and set up monthly order, get the peak performance pack on a monthly basis. You can always change it or cancel it or suspend it at any time you get that free lifetime membership and you get 30 percent off of retail sounds like a good deal again there's the buy button right beside the screen here now i just want to give you a couple extra pieces of information there is an optional program to earn from referrals so when you're experiencing the benefits of the products, you're starting to see an increase in your performance your teammates and even your competitors are going to see a difference as well now, teammates, yes, I don't know about competitors, but you can tell them what you're doing. And if you refer people to the Peak Performance Package, you can get a referral, uh, earn a few bucks for a referral a commission. These products are only available from RBC Life. Who's RBC Life? Did I tell you that yet? No, I've got to do that. RBC Life is a 20-year-old company with an incredible record of research and development in the field of health and nutrition. Their team of scientists has brought together from around the world some of the best scientific discoveries and combined them with the best that nature has to offer to bring products that really empower the human body to be well. And finally, there is that money back guarantee that gives you the assurance of the quality of the products and the experience that you're going to have. So what are you waiting for? Take action, click that button, 
and start on your way to peak performance.